Welcome back to some new r slash malicious compliance stories, where people comply to the letter, but not the spirit of a request. I hope you had a great day. The first story is called Interrupt Me. I recently got a job at the same company my mom works at. I ended up serving malicious compliance during my first week there. I recently changed jobs from a bar bag at a coffee shop to a production wall in a small but growing company. My mom has been there for over a year. I got the job because of my mom, because she recommended me, knowing I'm a good worker. I basically do odd jobs in cleaning and support the other team members. The basic structure for this place has my mom as my direct supervisor. Though technically my boss is the same as my mom's boss. There's also someone who's basically overseeing production along with packaging. Let's call him Tom. Tom is kinda above mom in the hierarchy. But the company is also not super big on hierarchy. This happened during my second shift in my new role. I had finished doing something and I was going to go to my mom to get another assignment. I then saw she was talking with Tom. So I raided. Though I was in their peripherals, so they would see I was there. I was planning on waiting, until they had a break in their conversation, to ask her what she wanted me to do next. But then my mom noticed me. She then looked at me and asked, what do you think you are doing just standing around? I was waiting to ask you what else you wanted me to do. I didn't want to interrupt you. Well, don't just stand around. How about, hey supervisor person, can you give me another task? She gave me another assignment and then went back to talking with Tom. She's actually a pretty cool boss. This conversation may sound harsh, but she was exaggerating for comedic effect. She and Tom are chill, so he knew she was messing with me. But still, I saw a golden opportunity. I went off to do my newly assigned task. And when I was done, I went straight up to my mom without hesitation. In the middle of her saying something, I interrupted. Hey, supervisor person, I'm done with the task. Can you give me another task? My mom looked at me and she kinda looked annoyed, but then realized what she had said to me about five minutes earlier. She chuckled a little and looked to Tom and motioned towards me, as if to say, do you see what I have to put up with? She then asked me to wait a minute for her to be done with Tom, at which point she would assign me a new task. I waited out of earshot and got my next task. The next story is called Out of Pocket. I'm a teacher. I taught a class of 18 kids back in 2017. The curriculum changed near the end of the school year and it was expected for the kids to visit the zoo. Edmund told me that since their budget was created at the start of the year, they wouldn't pay for their entrance fees and that I would have to pay out of pocket for all 18 kids. They also requested that I take pictures for the school's Facebook page. I love my students, but I love my savings too. I couldn't justify spending over 360 euros on a single, non-tangible thing. So I took the kids down to local farmer Pete's farm. All Pete asked for was a 5 euro donation per person, and that too was voluntary. I put down a 50 euro note for old Pete and showed the kids exotic animals like cattle, sheep, goats and chickens. A few weeks later I was approached by admin. They asked me for the photos. I gladly emailed it to them with the subject title of Petting Zoo Pictures. I got an email back simply saying that my conduct was not exemplary. No reprimand, no written up warning but no photos for admin too. The kids enjoyed it though. The last story is called Not My Business. A few years ago, I pulled into a lumberyard parking lot on my way to pick up a super small item. As I was walking through the parking lot on the way to the store, I saw this guy tying about $3,000 worth of composite decking into the top of his truck rack. If you know anything about composite decking, you know that it is expensive, heavy and super slick, especially when multiple boards are together. This guy was using a rope to tie this down. Now, don't get me wrong, 
ropes are great and there are some awesome knots out there. And this guy could have used all of them, but rope simply wasn't going to cut it, no matter what fancy knots he knew. On my way in, I politely told the guy, hey, just so you know, those are really slippery when stacked. A rope isn't going to cut it. You really need to get a couple of ratchet straps for that. Don't worry, I got it, he replied, in the most smug way he could muster. Okay, his issue. So I went to buy my thing. Since it was only one thing, I was back in my truck in three minutes. And it turns out I was behind this guy leaving the driveway. As the front of his truck dipped into the gutter, $3,000 worth of expensive composite decking slides right off of the top of his truck, completely obliterates his hood and fans out across the boulevard. As I drove past, I honked, smiled and raved. After all, he clearly wanted me to mind my own business, so I did. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you have time, watch another one of my videos. And now, I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.